Hi guys, this is a short tutorial on how to use the Pinterest platform in Mass Planner. First, you'll need to enable it in the Facebook platform. After that, you just go to Profile, open the embedded browser like in Facebook. Here you'll see the login details, enter your account details and click Confirm Login to Pinterest. After that, you'll be taken here. This is uh, basically the account. You'll see here all the boards you're a part of. Each board has uh, been transformed into a campaign. All you need to do in order to uh, automatically publish on a board is uh, just click on it. And uh, you have here all the settings that you need. You can choose uh, how many times a day you want to publish. Uh, if you want, you can target exact times. Or uh, if not, you can leave automatic timers on. After that, you'll need to enter the default pin source. You'll enter here. Uh, your site which will be added to all the pins that you make you can enter uh, multiple sites or uh, different uh, parts of your site uh, like page 2 for example and it will uh, randomly pick be between these two you can uh, add a signature to all the pins that you make you can you if you want to do this you'll need to enable it you have a spinning uh, possibility so you can enter spin the syntax here and you also have the automatic shortening options if you want and there's a final option you can enable the watermark option okay you also can add auto pins all you need to do in order to use them is enable them and uh, say the keyword that you want them uh, to find pins and repin them for you. For example, this board is about recipes, so I can uh, write here recipes and uh, healthy recipes. And uh, it will automatically go and uh, find pins uh, for these keywords and repin them for you. Now you need to set how many repins per day you want. For example, I set 11 here and there will be different timers. Uh, you can choose to pin the, the pins with maximum repins or the pins that are new and have uh, minimum repins. If you want to change the URL of the repins you make, you can add it here, like uh, mysite.com, and it will change when repinning, it will change the original source of the pin with yours. Uh, you can also enter in what percentage of the time you want it to do this. If uh, you want to add some more text to the repeats you make you can again enable the signature and add some more text here and it will automatically post it with the repeats you make or you can uh, go and add pins by hand this is my first pin and uh, you'll choose an image here and you can enter the source file you can add pins from urls or you can add video pins from urls and uh, youtube for that matter or you can add pins from your computer you can select multiple images at uh, one time you can also if you get the extra module you can get pins from Flickr. you can uh, hit recipes here and uh, get let's get just two pins for the for testing purposes so you see how this goes it will go to Flickr and extract two images that uh, are related to recipes if you want you can edit the text if you want you can edit the image uh, if you want you can remove them or add them to the list and you'll see one pin has, has been added this is the pin list what i uh, placed here before and uh, also the author pins all i need to do is start publishing and it will start publishing with my uh, option set as you can see you have a lot of other options like auto follow pinners tool, auto follow board tool, followers list, you'll see the followers list here. You have an auto unfollow tool that you can use to automatically unfollow pinners that didn't follow you back. You have automatic like tool that uh, you can uh, tell it to automatically like stuff and uh, auto comment tool that you can use to automatically comment on different uh, pins that you like. So this is basically it. You can set each uh, board that you have with uh, these different uh, settings and they will all work in parallel. This is basically how easy it is to schedule a lot of pins to your Pinterest boards. Hope you like it and see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye.